All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. This is Kermit standing in front of a beautiful example of a 1934 Ford Cabriolet, one of my favorite eras of automotive history. Now, starting at the front of this car, I, there's a lot of things to touch on with this one. Um, well, I guess the first thing that stands out to me is that this is actually a real Ford hood, or, uh, hood emblem or ornament, if you will. Actually, it's a radiator cap, but actually your radiator is just underneath here. But you can see that the tail is divorced of the legs, and uh, that is indicative of a real one. Um, coming down to that, the... Uh, Grill chrome, I guess you will, or the, uh, yeah, I should say the grill chrome is in beautiful shape along with the horns, headlight buckets, everything seems to be there. Everything got its Ford scripts on it. This is all real stuff. Um, coming around to the side here, you can see the paint on both fenders, hood, all of it really on this car is in beautiful shape. Uh, quite a bit nicer than you see on uh, restorations of cars of this era. It's never quite done this nice. And I will tell you that the underside of this car looks every bit as nice as the top. Uh, this car does have a few uh, minor upgrades. Uh, one of which being hydraulic brakes on it. And you're going to see a lot uh, more of that when we get up underneath it. And that's when I really, those are the sections of the videos that I really enjoy showing off is the undercarriage sections. I get to talk about all the technical stuff. As far as the interior goes, very, very simple, just as it was back in the day. And everything just seems to be original. You can see here we do have a hydrostatic fuel gauge. We actually fixed that and made sure that it was uh, working properly for you guys. Brand new fluid in there. And as you can see, it does work. Uh, speedometer in there does indeed work and meter does indeed work you can see there with the headlights on it actually showing draws and you can see that the headlights are indeed working horn works perfectly fine transmission is very healthy and you're going to see that here in a second when we go out to drive it another cool thing here we've got both throttle and choke knobs uh, which is both standard on this but one thing that is very uh you don't see all that often is you actually have a factory ford radio in here and it does work a factory am functional radio which i was just blown away by um, so all that being said, extremely nice interior and the thing, every single little thing on this car works, even your dash lights, all that stuff works. I mean, to the nines guys, I'm telling you. Getting out of here, one other cool thing I'd like to show off on the interior is the uh, radio being a Ford option underneath the dash here. It even still has the Ford script on the, uh, the speaker box as well. All the factory wiring harness seems to be in intact under there, if not a uh, reproduction wiring harness because it is in beautiful shape. Seat obviously is in beautiful shape. Door panels, obviously it's all been redone. Top has also been redone. I mean, just a beautiful restoration on this one. Coming around to the side here, you can see the paint is in excellent shape. All the door pins look good. It looks like the uh, running board rubber has also been replaced. Pinstriping, very, very tasteful all the way around the car. It is a rumble seat car, um, and I'm sure you'll see pictures of it uh, with the rumble seat open. The latch for the rumble seat is actually up underneath the uh, top here. It's actually on cable, just as they were. Um, another cool thing too about these early cars, these are actually steps to get into your rumble seat here and it's all supported from underneath so you're not going to hurt it by stepping on any of that. That's what it's designed to do. Coming around to this side here, you can see paint is continuing to look absolutely beautiful. Once again, tasteful pinstripe all the way around. does have roll-up windows on it. With the top, you actually are insulated from the weather pretty well. Um, continuing to look good on the hood here, everything here on the fender. Very small little nick right there. It happens. Coming around to the side here, I mean, absolutely a, just an exemplary example of a 1934 Ford Cabriolet, and it drives phenomenal. It actually has uh, gained quite a reputation around here for being a very smooth running, very just stout car. So that all being said, uh, let's go take it for a ride. All right, guys, we got this 34 out on this nice, brisk morning. Now, this thing has got all kinds of pickup. Now, this is an 85-horse uh, model flathead, 221. 1935 model engine, but 1934 model car. Very close, and it's disguised very well. But as you can see here, we got a functional fuel gauge, as I'm sure you saw me uh, say here in the uh, showroom video. Functioning speedometer, charge gauge is functional. Turn this up a little bit. That's right, functional Ford AM radio. Turn that off, coming around the corner here. The thing drives absolutely phenomenal. I'm up in third gear now, doing, what, 30, 35 miles an hour or so. Coming up to a stop. Brakes are very, very nice. Now, as I, you heard me say in the showroom video, it is uh, has been uh, updated to period correct hydraulic brakes, so probably just slightly later Ford brakes. Coming to a stop here, hands off the wheel. First gear, very healthy transmission.
there's one thing that I love about these old flatheads, it's the induction noise. They sound absolutely amazing. Getting on up to speed has no problems whatsoever. 25, 30. Third gear, fairly healthy synchros, which is, you know, all, you know, especially on an early transmission like this, they were never perfect to begin with and it feels great. Functioning parking brake on this as well, which is cool to see. Downshift, grab second, like no, no one's business coming around the corner. Nice tight feeling steering. Of course, we shook everything down. It felt great. Greased everything personally, so you guys don't got to worry about any of that sort of stuff. Once again, induction noise sounds badass on these old flatheads. Got all kinds of balls for the era. I mean, downright, this is just surreal to be out driving this thing. And as nice as this thing drives, I couldn't be any happier, let me tell you. Now here at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not a consignment dealer. We own this one. We own pretty much just about everything that we have here. Well, we do own everything that we have here. Coming up to a stop. Now it does not have turn signals, so you do have to use hand signals. A lot of the time people don't understand what those mean nowadays, but. But like I was saying, we are not consignment dealers. We own this and every other car that we own. to stop one more time here. Once again, perfectly functional brakes. It's one of our employees there. Coming up to a stop. Non-synchro first on this one. So you gotta come to a complete stop and get her in first gear or that, or if you're really good. Once again, wonderful sounding flathead. Charging gauge showing 30 amps. Of course, at cruising speed, coming up to a drives like a race car, I swear. Coming on into the shop here. We're gonna go and throw this thing right up on the hoist for you guys. We're gonna show you the undercarriage of this car and it's beautiful and I get to get into the technical ins and outs of this thing, which includes the engine, transmission, and you know, just all the, all the little goodies that I find to be really fascinating on these old time cars. So, stay tuned. All right guys, this is the underside of that badass 34 that you just saw me driving. So we got it up on the hoist here and as you can see, looks like a refurbished fuel tank. These actually do have drains on them, which is really cool if you plan on storing the car for long periods of time, easy to drain your fuel. Um, leaf spring looks like it's all been uh, freshly greased, probably been re you know redone because I can see it looks like it's got new spring clamps on it. Uh, of course, everything on this, they cotter pinned everything on these, which is something that uh, is really cool to see. Now here's the first indication of a modification that's been made here. As you heard me say in the uh, top side part of the video, uh, this car has uh, hydraulic brakes on it. And here you can see it looks like it's actually a kit that they put on it. But uh, fairly well engineered too is what I like to see. We've got, uh, I believe this is later model Ford, like a 38 possibly uh, discs, or excuse me, drum uh, setup on it. And uh, these are actually really easy to adjust to. You don't even have to open up your, uh, your drums to adjust them. It's actually these right here and it's got a set of cams. Uh, real cool to see and you know, for mechanical people, that's also, you know, makes it quite a bit easier. Uh, looks like a fairly new whip hose on it. Looks like a brand new fuel line. Of course, it does have a uh, electric fuel pump on it, um, but not uh, necessarily for running. What it is, is if you once again plan on storing your vehicle, they've actually put a nice little hidden switch underneath the dashboard with this electric pump here. So you can actually prime your fuel system uh, before you know starting the car after a long period of sitting because everyone knows that it is a pain to start a car that's been sitting for six months. Uh, moving forward to that, a uh, beautiful set of floor pans on it. Once again, frame off restored car. You can see the difference between floor pan and frame here. Obviously this was done all separate and a very nice job on it. Uh, torque tube differential in it. Uh, open diff of course is what these all were back in the day. Um, moving forward of all of that, all the bushings look like they're in good shape. Once again, everything's got nice cotter pins in it. Parking brake is functional on this car, um, and it works very, very well. Nice and easy to pull. Um, here's your master cylinder here for your hydraulic brakes, and of course, once again, the lines are all nice and very, you know, pretty bent. Moving forward to that, six volt battery, just what should be in it. Moving forward to even that, we do have our three speed Ford top loader transmission. Now, this is actually fully synchronized, well, I should say for the most part, synchronized. Um, it's a Crash box first, which means that you have to come to a complete stop to get it into first gear, but that is exactly what these were. And for the time, having a, a transmission that was this synchronized, that was actually pretty state-of-the-art back then. Once again, everything is greasable, your clutch and brake linkage, of course we didn't grease at all. Coming forward of all of that, this is the underside of our 1935 Ford Flathead V8. The giveaway, although the top of it uh, has been disguised as a 34, if you look right here, there's a vent here in the oil pan, and that is a 1935 first-year thing. Between this and the uh, the um, 
The serial number, which I actually found and ran on this engine, is a 1935 engine. So first year for that vent there, which is actually kind of a positive thing. Uh, crank, crank vents uh, keep your oil pretty much cleaner. So it uh, looks like our front, uh, front axle here looks pretty normal. Looks to be stock, no drop axle or anything like that. Uh, grease fittings on all of our kingpins. Everything's actually really nice and tight up here. It looks like most everything that needed to get rebuilt was rebuilt. Everything has, in, has of course, been greased. Hydraulic brakes up here, of course. And another cool thing to see, too, is it has the original style shocks in it, which is really awesome to see. Uh, this is, you know, of course, a far more expensive route than, uh, you know, the modern just throw away shocks. So these are all fully serviceable, fully fillable. Uh, very overall, very, very cool to see that it still maintains those. And the same thing with the brakes up here. Very easy to adjust. You can do it on the ground if you want. Um, as far as wheels and tires go, we got 2.25, 5.5 by 17, so this is a 17 inch rim. I believe this actually originally came with a 16, so this would be an upgrade actually. And of course, wheel look, looks to be original, nicely painted, good wide whites, just like you like to see. Running board looks like it's in excellent shape as well. The rubber obviously been redone, you can see even the underside of it here, it doesn't look like it's ever hit anything or it's ever been high centered. All good stuff to see. Looking up here in our rear wheel, well, we'll check that out right there. Absolutely beautiful. Doesn't look like this car's ever even been driven in rain, for heaven's sakes. Um, as far as the rear tire goes, same size as the front, same good looking wheel. Uh, it is a tube style uh, tire, both front and rear, if I didn't already mention. And that all being said, let's go take a look at the 85 horse flathead under the hood. All right, guys, here it is. This is, in my opinion, one of the coolest engines that Ford has ever made. Ford Flathead V8, 85 horse model. You can tell uh, that by saying it's a, uh, it's a 221 Flathead V8. 21 stud, aluminum head. Three bolt uh, carburetor here. And speaking about the carburetor, this is actually, I believe, a Stromberg 48, not the more common 97. The 48 is actually a larger carburetor. In my opinion, a little bit more desirable and quite a bit more rare. But uh, back to the engine here. Aluminum heads, aluminum intake manifold, water pump in head. All this comes back to be correct for an 85 horse passenger car model, which is kind of the big dog of the year. And uh, has its a factory fuel pump here, which is fully functional, as you told, as you heard me say underneath. Everything is greasable on here because these cars were meant to be serviced, not to be thrown away, which is all really cool stuff that I like to see. It even has a Ford belt on it, for heaven's sakes. Original style generator, original style voltage regulator, if you will, which is just underneath this little can here. Original type air cleaner on it. I mean, this is just as it should be from the factory. Uh, this is one that I'd highly recommend you come in and see for yourself. And if you go and drive this one, I guarantee you will fall in love with it, guys. So, that all being said. Hey guys, it's Greg. Hey, even though Kermit is about half my age, actually I think he's less than half my age, he's probably forgotten more about these cars than I'll ever know. Man, I have loved these cars my entire life. One of my best friends restored these cars. And you know what? I've been around them my entire life. This is probably one of the nicest I've ever seen. So call Tom, 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.